So today I want to make a tutorial on how to make these little <clears throat> knitted squares. I know there are a lot of tutorials on how to make mitered squares online, uh, but these I find that they're uh, more interesting with a little cross in the center and they're so much fun to make. Uh, this is one that's been blocked. It's a little more stable and you can make these as small or as big as you'd like. This one actually has a crocheted border. And at some point I'd like to make a blanket with squares this big. And this is a lot of fun to do. I'm using DK weight yarn and 2.75 millimeter needles. And you'll see why I use a different one here uh, in just a little bit. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start here with an overhand knot. So actually you want that to go over the top and out on the side. Okay. And this is the most difficult part of the whole square. You wanna hold that however you're used to in the right hand or the left hand. You're going to yarn over, go in your loop, have fuzz on there. So you have two loops on your needle now. Again, you're going to yarn over, draw up a loop, four, yarn over, draw up another loop, six, yarn over, draw up your last loop. Okay. Once you have those in place, you just want to pull your tail and that should cinch right up. You can maybe tug a little bit up the back. Okay. Then you'll slide your stitches over and you're going to begin knitting. So you want two stitches to every needle. And you want to make sure to put a place, a stitch marker on that first stitch because in a, in a little bit, this is going to feel really chaotic and you'll see why it can get really fiddly here in the beginning, but you know, let's pull that fuzz out with a few attempts. This will become like nothing. Okay. So, Okay, so we have our two. You want to make this as snug as possible so your needle doesn't fall right out. All right, we'll do two more. One and two. That helps make sure those needles are in the center. Okay. I'll do two more. And I like to use a different needle for the last two, just because this way I know where my starting needle is and where my last needle is. Because once you start stitching these, I think the first three rounds, these needles can get quite tangled and trust me, you will lose your position and you'll have to start all over again. And uh, once you get those eight stitches on your needle, you can cinch that tail up again and you'll get a nice closed center. So again, we'll find that first stitch. Okay, here's our first needle. So we want to start knitting on this. So the object here is we're going to increase two on each segment. Okay. So initially we have three stitches. We're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one all the way around. And on each following segment, we'll just do a knit or a plain row and then increase two. So you'll knit one, increase one, knit to the last stitch, uh, increase one, knit one. And you'll just continue doing that all the way around until your desired square size. And I'll show you right here. So on the very first round, okay, we will knit the first one. Yarn over and knit the last one. Okay, got the second needle, knit one, yarn over, knit the last, third needle, knit 
when you actually master this, oh my goodness, what a great feeling that is. <laughs> knit one, yarn over, knit the last one, and my final, my final needle here, we will knit one, yarn over, knit the last one. Okay, and like I stated, next we will knit a complete round. Okay. So we'll just knit all three stitches on all four needles. Hope you can hear that lovely music in the background. There's nothing like knitting in front of a fireplace with some Christmas music. It's too early for eggnog now, otherwise I'd have a glass of that as well. Okay, so here we go. And my last row. If you ever lose your place and you're wondering, did I knit that row? Was it my first stitch? Was it not? If you get confused sometimes with where the stitch is placed, a good way to figure out is knit your first stitch and you can tell if that second stitch is a yarn over, which this one clearly is, and you can tell because it's very loose and open. That means you haven't knit it all the way through. So this is the fourth needle here. And see there's that last stitch, you can tell it's not a yarn over because it's nice and tight. So there you go. Okay, now we'll do the increase round again. And like I said, we will knit one, yarn over, knit all the stitches in the middle, which right now are only one. And then on your last, uh, before your last stitch, you will yarn over again and you'll knit. So as you're going, your stitches will start growing this way. It'll start increasing and you'll have those beautiful segments. It'll keep growing and growing. And this is basically the entirety of the square. You'll knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and knit. One, yarn over, knit to the last stitch, yarn over, and knit. And you can you can cut off that tail so that it's not bothering you at every corner. Okay. Knit one yarn over. Knit one yarn over. Okay, now we'll do just a plain round of knitting. And I'll increase it one more round and then I'll show you how to switch colors if you'd like to do that. Okay. And I believe we're back at the first needle. And like I said, if you're not sure, what you want to do is you want to knit the first one and check out that um, second stitch. And actually, that's a yarn over, so that I know this is actually my last needle. Knit that, and that's a yarn over. Okay. So this is back to needle one. And we'll go ahead and increase. It's starting to look like a square. Okay. 
we'll knit one increase knit all the way to the last stitch increase and knit your last stitch and that's the gist all the way around knit one increase knit all the way around to your last stitch increase and knit i've gotten really good at uh blocking all these other needles out they no longer bother me. I just pretend they're not there. Yarn over, knit to the last stitch. Yarn over, knit the last stitch. Okay. It's pretty easy actually. With the exception of the fiddly bit at the beginning, um, it's a very simple pattern. Okay. Knit to the last stitch, yarn over, knit, okay. and we're back to row one. Okay. Sorry about that, I had a little coughing fit. So we'll go ahead and start the uh, next round. So I did my increases all the way around, and now on the knitted part, I'm going to add another yarn. So you'll grab this as you usually do, however you tension your yarn. I have my tail back here. What I like to do is hold it with my fingers back there so it doesn't go anywhere. And then you're just gonna start knitting as usual. Okay. So I think the first three stitches will be a little bit cumbersome, a little bit fiddly, but once you get those three in, you're just gonna knit as normal all the way around and we'll increase on the next round and that's pretty much it we'll keep going and then you'll bind off as you would bind off any other project um, you can add a crochet trimming if you'd like or leave as is I'm sure any other trimming be fun to experiment with different maybe crochet uh, borders might be nice Get a little flare so I'm just gonna finish on this round and give you an idea of what this looks like at this stage all right and a final So that last bit where we added our yarn, that's gonna be loose. You just give that a tug, give these both a tug and that'll tighten everything up nice and neat. And then you'll just weave in those bits at the end like you would any project. And there you go. It doesn't look like much now, but once you keep going, I'm gonna pull this center tail out of the way. with my giant crochet hook. All right, there you go. And I really should have used a smaller crochet hook. Okay, that was a fail, but um, you can pull that in easily. Um, and there's your little square. 